Episode 55, Renfrey Meets an Enemy. Brother, are you going to build another company? Tony asked in a low voice. Yes. Dante said without hesitation. When the brothers heard Dante's decision, they were instantly dumbfounded. They really didn't think that he would do such a thing for Renfrey. Dante had once said that he would never deal with anything related to jewelry. But now, for Renfrey's sake, he was ready to involve himself in something he hadn't wanted to touch again. Renfrey sat there, not understanding what they were thinking. Are you serious? Andrew said, I've always been serious. Dante said calmly, if you need my help, just tell me. Harold offered. Renfrey stared at Dante, suddenly puzzled. Dante gazed at Renfrey, and his heart was very full. Alfred and the others looked at Dante and Renfrey. We're all still single, Andrew said playfully. He finally met the person he loves, Alfred said. Not all men are like you. Be careful or you may die alone someday, Tony said quickly. Tony, get over here, Alfred gritted his teeth and said. I'm right in front of you. Kick my ass if you can. Tony said mockingly. Alfred and I will fight you together. Andrew said. Alfred rolled up his sleeves. Stop fooling around. Dante suddenly said. As soon as Dante spoke, his brothers instantly fell silent. Harold, why aren't you saying anything? Andrew said, seeking further support. I'm not that bored. Harold replied. Among the five... Dante and Harold were the most mature. The other three brothers were all carefree. I really envy you all. Your relationship is so good, Renfrey said. That's true. We've been to hell and back together, Andrew said confidently. Renfrey, do you have any good friends? Alfred asked. Introduce one of me. No, Renfrey, you mustn't do that. He's a playboy, Tony said. Renfrey gaped at Alfred in surprise. Is that true? She asked. Hey, don't listen to their nonsense, Alfred said, smiling. You could have 30 girlfriends a month, Harold said sarcastically. Alfred glared at Harold. He hadn't wanted his personal life to be made so public. If that's the case, I can introduce my friend to you, Renfrey said somberly. Andrew smiled. Alfred looked at them and turned away. He then raised a glass of wine and drank it. As the hours passed, the brothers drank and played in the private room until evening. I can't drink anymore, Alfred said weakly. Earlier, Alfred had wanted to compete with Dante in terms of alcohol tolerance, but now he was vomiting. You know you can't keep up with Big Brother when it comes to drinking. You're just asking for trouble, Andrew said. Dante looked at Alfred and raised his wrist to look at his watch. It's getting late. Renfrey has to get some sleep. She and I are headed home. You guys can send Alfred home later, Dante said slowly. In that case, let's all leave together, Harold said. All right, Dante nodded. Hey, Alfred, let's go home and sleep, Andrew said. All right, then, Alfred said. Tony pulled Alfred to his feet. You're so drunk, we may need to carry you, Tony complained. Let's go, Harold said. Dante helped Renfrey into her down jacket and held her hand as they walked out. I don't feel good. Don't move me, Alfred said in discomfort. Then why did you drink so much? Tony said. They walked to the entrance of the Avalon Club and Andrew opened the door for everyone. Tony carefully put Alfred into the car. I'll take him home. You all can leave, Tony said. Bye-bye, Renfrey said sweetly. Renfrey. I'm sure I'll see you soon, Tony said meaningfully. You're welcome any time, Renfrey said happily. Tony looked at Dante with a smile, then got into the car. Renfrey. Suddenly, a gentle voice reached Dante and the other's ears. Renfrey was very familiar with that voice. She stared impatiently at Ron, who was walking toward them. Ron was still the same as before, but recently, he'd been very busy because of company matters. Every night, he had to entertain clients. Today, he had accompanied them to the Avalon Club, but he hadn't expected to run into Renfrey there. Just now, he had seen Renfrey and Dante chatting and laughing from afar. When Ron saw them, 
His face was full of surprise. In Phoenix City, Harold, Alfred, Tony, and Andrew were among the society's elite. Even the Harper family, Ashley family, and Anderson family were like ants in front of them. However, Ron had never thought that Renfrey would know them. Renfrey looked at Ron as he walked toward her, but there was no expression on her face. Renfrey! Ron shouted hoarsely. Dante glared at Ron with murder in his eyes. Renfrey was his. No one say or do anything against her. Otherwise, Dante would see that person be buried in an unmarked grave. Get lost, Dante said angrily. His cold voice was like an invisible hand grabbing Ron's neck. Ron just stood there without moving. Renfrey, do you know each other? Andrew asked curiously. He's just a piece of shit, Renfrey said calmly. Andrew and Harold looked at each other. Renfrey is my wife now. Don't bother her anymore. Otherwise, I don't know what I'll do, Dante said icily. Ron looked at Renfrey. There was no emotion on his face, but there was regret in his heart. <laughs>